And Nick Gillingham holds that Commonwealth record and Phil Rogers holds the Australian record. And Cowley's just outside at least the Australian record, if not the Commonwealth. Enormous pressure for all swimmers. Take your mark. And the 18-year-old Australian. Away they go. Peterson in lane eight is nearest to us in that white cap. And then he's up and swimming with an advantage over Emai in seven. Grote is prominent in six. White cap of USA. Hayashi from Japan in five. Cowley in four. He's doing well, but he's just behind Normand at the moment. Harrison's the other goal cap, dead level with Cowley. And Morgan Nave from Canada, the black cap at the top of the screen. We want a split of 28-2-3, and it's 0 .83 outside that. It's a lead there for Norman of 0.14 over Cowley, who can come home. He reminded us of that in KL. So Norman's in front now. Cowley's after him. Hayashi is putting himself in the race, and so too is Grote. Regan's not far away from them. What a battle. The 15-metre rope. It's up Cowley coming through to take over from Norman. And down here in lane eight, Peterson is up there as well. It's a great battle. I think Cowley. I think Cowley. Yes, Simon's done it. Simon Cowley has won for Australia in 102.06. Harrison has got the Quinella for Australia. Oh, well done. And Morgan Nabe has come in third. What an improvement for Regan Harrison. Second with 102.26. Look how tight this finish is. That's Harrison, second from the top. There's Cowley in the middle with the yellow cap. Cowley goes in hard on the wall. 102.06. He probably would have liked to have gone close to that Commonwealth and Australian record. But a good touch by him. And to actually follow through and win the gold, is the most important thing. He's done two PBs in this meet already. As to Regan Harrison, that's his third PB. So the dual gold medalist from the Commonwealth Games is now the gold medalist at the 100 breaststroke at the Qantas Pan Pacific Games. Regan Harrison has come with this tremendous burst. Norman was in front of the turn. He had a commanding break but he couldn't go on. Nave from Canada came through for third. And what about the lad from South Africa down in lane eight? <laughs> a commentator's nightmare. We haven't got a good view of it to the naked <laughs> eye, and I had to stand up and look down. And there he was. I thought, oh, my goodness, he hasn't been in the call. Here's the result. Cowley first, Australia. Harrison second, Australia. And Nave was third from Canada. Well done, young man. He's got a lot of supporters in the crowd. Lactating the legs, lactic acid, nice and tight walking across there. He's had three big swims in a day and a half. Quietly and calmly. <laughs> He's walking across to the interview. Across Australia, across the world on television and of course for the people here as well. And Rob Woodhouse is with him right now. Simon Kelly, uh, you did it tough there, but uh, the wind's what's, what matters at a meet like this, is that right? Yeah, it's a racing meet, and happy to get on the wall first. Just a little disappointing with the time, because I swam so, so well yesterday, but the wind's a win. Now, uh, talk a little bit about the start. You look like you uh, dropped back a little bit on the start. Did you miss that slightly? Uh, yeah, a little bit. My starts haven't been my strong point in the past, and I've done a lot of work on them. And I got them pretty well in the heat in the semi, but didn't quite get it then. But on the positive note, the finish, the last 25, is, which is uh, where it all counts, can you actually see your competitors on either side of you there? Nah, in breaststroke, it's pretty hard to sort of see where everyone else is. It's just sort of head down and away you go. And you're expecting Regan Harrison to uh, be so close to you for the silver medal? Uh, no, well, we spoke before, Ian, and said to him, you know, it's a, it's a pretty open race, anything can happen, and you can get up there and swim really well. And he did that, and it's just great for Australia to get one too. Now, the 200 breaststroke coming up later in the week. The 200 breaststroke's the main event. That's right. That's the event I've been training for. So, a day off tomorrow and then come back and get into it again. Well, enjoy your day off and uh, congratulations on the Pan Pacific Championship and the 100 breaststroke, Simon. Thanks, Rob.